Today I'm going to review the 18X Mobile Telephone Telephoto Lens. This lens let me film the solar eclipse that happened this year, and I was able to use it with a tripod and solar film glasses to get some really great shots. So here's what comes in the box. First you have a bracket that will attach the lens to the phone. You have an adapter, which you can use to attach it to a tripod. There's also a very small tripod that comes with the lens. Then you have the lens itself. I'm actually very impressed. The quality of the metal feels pretty sturdy and it's got some nice bendable lens caps. Now I'll show you how to set it up. The lens attaches to the hole in this bracket right here. Then the bracket attaches to your phone. You want to remove the phone from any case. Take the bracket, have the screen facing you. This is the bottom of the bracket. You can tell because it has the mount for the tripod or the tripod shoe on there. You have to arrange it so that the bracket does not touch the buttons on your phone. Otherwise, you'll end up turning on your screen and accidentally opening programs or messages. It will move at an angle and you can also slide it up and down the bracket. And once you get it into place, you tighten the bracket. This isn't the best build of a bracket. I'm not super impressed with the bracket itself. However, for the price point, I'll say that it works. It works pretty well. There is a little bit of gap in there. So once I'm able to tighten it so that it doesn't move around, then we're ready to attach the lens. Take off the cap, take the threaded end of the lens, and screw it into the bracket. So at this point, you need to be really careful and gentle with the phone because you don't want to disturb the placement of the bracket. As you can see, it's very easy to have the phone move out from underneath you. But this is what it looks like once it's attached to the phone. Here's a tripod shoe, which will allow us to attach the entire assembly to a tripod. This right here is the mount. Align the threads here and just screw it in. What we've got here is just your average run-of-the-mill cheap tripod. Go ahead and mount the assembly to the tripod. Everything is holding into place pretty well. All right, so we're ready to take the lens cap off and see how we're doing with the alignment of the lens. So I've already got the camera app pulled up. It's looking fairly blurry right now. Uh, this is a Samsung Galaxy, but every phone will be different. You'll want to go to the pro mode of your camera app and put it on infinite focus. Right now it's on autofocus, but we want it on infinite, the little mountain icon. So we'll switch the focus to infinite. That will allow us to control the focus from the lens itself. The exposure is looking a little too bright also, so we're going to bring that exposure down a bit. Now the next step is to focus the lens. This is the focus ring right here. You do have to be very gentle because the whole rig is very delicate. And you see now we're pretty well in focus. We're looking pretty far across the way here. So that's with zero zoom. And right here, <laughs> yeah, uh, don't tell our neighbors. Now, you do want to use a tripod because, as you can see, just the tiniest movement on the phone will give it some shakiness. All right, I've removed the tripod shoe from the bracket and the lens from the bracket so that I can show you another way to mount this onto a tripod. Take off the lens cap and slide the adapter on so that it's around the red stripe you see right here. Mount the lens. Next, we want to align the adapter so that the mount is pointing downward. Now we know that the bottom of the bracket is this side, so we will loosen this and move it so that it points down and tighten it. Okay, we're ready to attach the tripod. Earlier, I showed you how to mount a tripod shoe. Right now, I'm going to show you how to mount it directly to the tripod that came with the lens, just so you can see how it works. It's got a ball joint in there, so make sure that that is tightened so that you're able to mount it a little bit more easily. All right, everything seems to be fairly steady, so we will open up this tripod. And it's, <laughs> it's actually not that bad. Uh, it's standing up because the center of balance is balanced. 
Granted, I personally would prefer a more sturdy tripod, but this is good to get a feel for how everything fits together in the kit. So thanks for watching and be sure to check out my video of the solar eclipse that I filmed all the way through totality using this lens.